Well, good morning, uh, Charlie. Good morning, Nora. You know, you kind of expect the new guy to hang back before they start jumping in and making waves. That is not Ted Cruz. He's this brash conservative. He's riling up people on the left and the right. And on immigration reform, you can be sure that Cruz, who's a Latino and from a border state, would have a lot to say about the proposed compromise, President Obama, the Republican Party. Well, let's just say Ted Cruz has a lot to say about a lot of things. I would like, if possible, for, for, for you to try to answer the, the, the question I asked. Ted is Cruz isn't someone who goes along to get along. He's objecting to a so-called compromise plan crafted by four of his Republican colleagues and four Democrats. They have been working together to reach a compromise that, that the eight of them agree with. Because it includes a path to citizenship, which he says is not only deeply unfair to legal immigrants, but is also a political game being played by the president on unsuspecting Republicans. President President Obama does not want an immigration bill to pass. You're suggesting that the president is not operating in good faith. I think the president wants to campaign on immigration reform in 2014 and 2016. And I think the reason that the White House is insisting on a path to citizenship for those who are here illegally is because the White House knows that insisting on that is very likely to scuttle the bill. Three months in office, the 42-year-old Ted Cruz is shaking the status quo. It's also found in the Fourth Amendment. The right He's of the angering Brady. veteran Democrats with California's Dianne Feinstein calling him arrogant during the debate over gun control. I'm not a sixth grader. But he's also raising hackles among the old guard in his own party. When he questioned Defense Secretary nominee Chuck Hagel's financial disclosures, John McCain gave Cruz a scolding. No one on this committee in any time should impugn his character. McCain went on to call Cruz a wacko bird. Did you expect the people in your own party uh, would be calling you out so publicly? If standing for liberty and if standing for the Constitution make you a wacko bird, then I am a very, very proud wacko bird. Unapologetic about his bedrock conservative views and unwilling to back down, Cruz appeals to other Washington outsiders. Here, Ted Cruz, like a good Texan, he comes to town, he chews barbed wire, and he spits out rust. And delights his loyal grassroots supporters, who now call themselves proud wacko birds and even dress the part. I have numbers of these made up. Republican um, uh, told me last week, uh, you know, you've thrown some elbows since you've been in Washington, but eventually you're going to learn to play in the sandbox. I, I, I don't view this as a game. Um, I, I didn't go to Washington to play. To understand Ted Cruz, you have to know where he came from. His father was jailed in Cuba before finding freedom in the United States. Being the child of an immigrant who fled in oppression, who'd been tortured and beaten and almost killed, politics always had an urgency. Cruz discovered his skill for argument as a high school student in Houston and took it straight to the liberal elite in the Ivy League. He was a national debate champion twice at Princeton. Returning to Texas, he became Solicitor General, making legal arguments before the U.S. Supreme Court. To win, he sometimes had to persuade liberal justices to take his side. And is that what you would like to to eventually accomplish in the Senate? Or is it just that you're putting up roadblocks, saying no? I mean, do you want to at some point persuade and do you think you can? I, I, I think and hope and believe uh, that, that, that we can do that and I think we're starting to do that. On immigration reform, Cruz says Congress should focus on areas of agreement like border security and legal immigration. What would you do with the 11 million people who are here illegally. I think there probably could be a compromise on that. A compromise. If a path to citizenship was taken off the table. Now, uh, Cruz said that the reason Republicans lost the White House the past two Republican uh, presidential elections is because the party lost its way. It lost the argument. And that kind of talk has people already speculating that he's going to run for president in 2016. But when I asked him, he refused to answer either way. He would only say, Charlie and Nora, that he was proud to be serving people from the great state of Texas.